guys, welcome back to my channel and if you don't know me, my name is Anfisa and I'm a UX designer, a creative freelancer, also doing a startup and trying to help people to learn what is UX design. Now, if you are still not subscribed, make sure to do it right now because I'm sharing a lot of the secrets, hacks and lifestyle tricks about the freelance life. Let's go on with our topic for today. Today I would love to talk to you about the organization, management and operations in your own creative freelance business. Why I would love to talk to you about it? Because it's crazy hard for us creative to manage our routine, isn't it? That's why I come up with a list of 8 super productive tools without which I really cannot imagine my life and cannot manage my business running so smoothly. Okay, but let me start by asking you what do you think is the most valuable asset for all of the freelancers or people who manage their own routine themselves? Right. That's tiny. And that also happened to be a name of the app I'm going to talk to you about in the very first priority place. So, Timing is an app that basically tracks all that you're doing on your computer without even distracting you. So you don't have to log any of your activities like I was designing, I was going to browser, I was writing my notes, etc. It does it for you and then it automatically prepares beautiful UI reports uh, for your information to just let you know how much time you spent productively and how much time you spent on the distractful tasks or apps, right? But if you don't agree with some apps being distractful, you can also manually change it and then it will be tracked as a productive time, right? And I think this app is paid, but I really love the user experience and I'm willing to pay for this experience extra money. However, if you're looking for a free uh, time tracking application, there is also a rescue time that helps you with the same kind of manner, but it's a little bit more outdated, the UI and experience is not that uh, seamless. So if you're still interested in seeing your productivity timing reports, you can use Rescue Time, which is also not a bad solution for this point. Okay, next up, Toggle. And it's also about timing, but it's a bit different timing. It's a perfect solution for freelancers who need to provide the time reports for their clients. So sometimes the client wants to see how much time is spent on this particular task, on that particular task, and I think that's very fair to give those reports to also establish a very transparent relationship with your client, which is, you know, a credit for a good trust. So I do this and uh, it's also very useful for me as a separate freelancer because I can basically try to establish better time estimates. So sometimes I would subjectively think that this particular task would take me 5 hours. But in reality, the time report will show you that it took 10 hours, let's say twice more. So it helps me to also be more objective in my estimations. And the more time you track in, the more precise your estimation becomes. Trust me. <laughs> now, there are different solutions on the market for this particular task, but why do I choose Toggle? Well, the answer is, yes, I love the user experience. I think it's absolutely seamless, it's very easy to onboard, and it also has a free version unlike from many other apps on the market. So what do I mean under free version? It means that you can create projects, create the clients, you can push that button to start tracking a task, you can also indicate that at this moment I'm working on understanding stage of my project, and then you can go to the report tab and very easily form the reports of your need. Let's say I need a report for one week or like two weeks or wherever, custom days. You can also see the P-charts and also broken down the list of the tasks you've been doing through all this time. What I personally do, I just download this report and send it to my client via email and then I say, okay, it was 55 hours, you know my hourly rate, here is the final price that I indicated also in the invoice. Mm -hmm. But also if you don't want to do this, you can skip the step and pay for a paid version of the toggle and it will automatically send uh, the billable report to your clients via email too. And speaking of invoices, I also have to tell about my favorite app for invoicing, which also happened to be free. And by the way, Toggle is an Estonian project and my favorite invoicing app is also an Estonian project. It's called Bill Doc. It's a very, very easy web tool where you have to enter to your profile. Um, it will have a wizard where you just say you create a new report, you indicate who is your client, uh, what you did for this client, your payment requisites, you indicate the currency, how much hours you spent, how many units you did, and here is the final price for your project, right? So you basically just also create this uh, invoicing report, you click the button download and send it to your client. Usually how I do it, I create this uh, toggle time report, I also create invoicing uh, PDF report, I grab those two PDFs and drop it to the Dropbox link and send it to my client and if I happen to remember that I forgot something, I can easily delete my document, my PDF from this Dropbox folder and upload the new one there without saying, hey, there was a mistake, here's a new report. 
It's just all there in the Dropbox link, Dropbox folder. Now, I also wanted to talk to you about cleaning up your personal working mess, right? So I have two favorite tools for this. One is Toby and another one is Clean My Mac. So uh, let's start with the Toby. Toby is a web browser extension which I discovered probably like one year ago and it was the best tool I could discover ever and I still use it every day. So what it does? As a UX designer, I do a lot of research, I read a lot of articles, I go through a lot of content, pictures, search for icons, I search for photos, I search for this and that, emails, etc. So my browser is a mess. I would usually have like 55,000 browser and tabs. And also if you have two projects at the same time and you need to switch between them, sometimes you just mess up all your tabs and you don't remember which one was for this project, which one was for that project. It's a mess, really. And so maybe the solution could be a bookmarks, but it's a lot of a hassle to just organize all your bookmarks by the project, by the client, by the studies, by the things you want to learn, etc. So I just don't want to deal with this hassle and the Toby is the best solution for this. Basically, the main task it does, it just wraps up all all your browser tabs, closes them, remembers them, and when you need it, you just click and it opens them all again. But my favorite, favorite function is that I'm able to organize all my bookmarks by the folder, by the project, by the tags, etc. So instead of just bookmarking something, remember which folder was it instead, you can just do it visually in the Toby. All you have to do is just, okay, I have this tab, it's gonna be something about my freelance career, this is gonna be something about this client, this is gonna be something about my blogging, and etc. So you just go, you create your folder, you apply the tag for it, and you have different folders with different tags where you can drop any relevant links to their own places. Now let's also talk about the mess that you're doing with your work. Usually my computer would be so messed up. I would have to come up with different structures for folders. I would have to remember where I download the assets for the client, for my personal projects, for this project, for blog, for notes, for that. There is a mess. <laughs> and sometimes all the things are just doubled. So you don't need so much stuff and you need to delete it. And also your computer is just dying from all the cache and all the swap uh, in your RAM memory. So what I do, I really love to use uh, Clean My Mac that also detects if I doubled my files, uh, if there is something I can delete, some temporary files, if I have some threads for my system, all I have to do is just click the button, it will scan all my system and tell me what I can delete. I can also see if something is just something I really need, so it will not delete it. You can go through the list and if I'm okay with this list, just tap the button and delete all the mess. And usually I can clean up maybe up to 5 gigabytes of free space which is really relevant because in my MacBook I have probably usually about 20 gigs free only so everything else I need. <laughs> and finally, I also wanted to discuss with you how to organize your thoughts, your brainstorming or your mental ideas. Well, for this I've got three tools and the first one is called Mind Maester. So it's basically a mind mapping tool where you just enter the main idea or let's say main topic and then you go on to create one branch of idea and go on with that to develop sub 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 features or ideas or topical things out there. And also I usually do it for information organization. So if I have a client who tells me I want to have this app with these features, with that, 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 when he talks there are so many ideas running out there. So for me it's very very easy to just go to this software, uh, start writing everything he says by just tapping enter, writing what he wants, tapping enter again once, okay new feature, tapping enter again again again. It's just like creating information architecture while the client is picking up his mind. It's really helpful, just under your hands, really easy to manage. And uh, why do I use the web tool? Well, basically because later it's much easier for me to share this Canva with the client. I can send it, he can go through this, he can comment on this. But of course there are different software products that you can use on your computer. Uh, but I just personally don't think it's worth the money it costs and I obviously cannot share it with anyone but just have it for myself and send the PDF which is not very, very, very user friendly. Now, and then finally, two more tools that I've recently discovered. I didn't use it extensively yet, but it's a very, very cool and wow apps as for me that I'm planning to use a lot in 2019. And those two called Real-Time Boards and Whimstical. Those both are actually pretty similar products. I would say they're competitors. So what they do is all of these creative tools that you can do with your team, uh, brainstorming online, working on business canvas, on ideas, on information architecture, or product map development. So all the tools you would do remotely, 
here and there, let's say you would use uh, Trello and you would use calendars and you would use uh, Slack channels and they will be like in all different places, which is okay, but not very usable. And if you don't want to have different places, you can just create real-time board project. I create there all the tools that you would need for your team to work together on and you know start sharing, start collaborating, start sharing the ideas and just work together. It's a perfect solution for design sprints or any agile project development processes. And Webstical is a very very similar product to it, but I think it has like three tools instead of six that has in real time words. So it's up to you to, do, to choose which one you like. They both cost some subscription payment if you want to have more than three projects and to have more than four people in the board. So you can give it a try and then go on with the payment or just you know leave it and stay back with your previous routine that you used before. Okay, so that was it for all the tools, guys. Oops. Whew, unfortunately, it's getting so dark already. It's a winter time, so I'll definitely have to fix my lightning situation in the beginning of the new year. And by the way, I'm very, very ashamed that I stopped filming new videos for you in the middle of 2018. That makes it pretty much official. And I promise you that from the beginning of 2019, I'll try to do my best to post every week or at least twice per month to always leave you up to date with the tools, with the hacks, with the tricks, with things I learned. If you've got any questions or anything is so uncertain or confusing for you, as a designer, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it to you. And also sometimes I will convert your questions into YouTube videos. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give comments, likes, anything. And yeah, thank you again. By the way, Happy New Year and Merry Merry Christmas to you all, guys. Woohoo, see you in 2019.